welcome to, welcome back to my channel, you guys. Uh, I'm going to go pick up my Ozempic medicine. This is going to be my first week on one milligram of Ozempic. I'm kind of nervous, but I think I can do it. I think it's going to be okay. This entire time I've been on half a milligram and now I'm going for the full I'm going for the full enchilada here, okay? Yeah, so I'm going to pick up my medicine and then I'm going to come home and eat something and then I'm going to go ahead and give myself my first one milligram shot of Ozempic. I'm a little nervous, but that's okay. We're gonna get through this. And throughout the week, I'm going to let you guys know how I'm feeling, if I'm experiencing any side effects. Let's pray to God it don't feel like hardcore bad side effects um, because that's never on time. So far this morning, my weight was 181 pounds. Okay, that's where we're starting. That's what I got. Let's see how this week goes. Okay guys, this is my first time using the Ozempic one milligram pen. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit different. It's a little longer than the original. Wow, just take a look at that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and assemble it. So I have my needle right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and screw it on to there. We go make sure it's nice and tight so this is what the pen looks like as you can see the ozempic is dotting over here near the needle that just means the ozempic is communicating with the needle which is great and the thing about this pen is that instead of going to 0.25 milligrams you twist it and it goes all the way to just one milligram oh my gosh i feel like it never ended oh i'm so scared this is like a roller coaster. Okay, there we go. Boom. One milligram. Darum! <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> Y'all, I'm scared. I'm sorry, guys, if you think I inject myself too slowly. This is just how I am. I'm trying to do it the most comfortable way I know how. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, yay, we did it guys, we did it. All right y'all, this is immediately after and I feel a slight sting. I think right here is where I injected myself and around this area I feel slight stinging. Um, yeah, pray for me. So guys, also right off the bat, I do want to mention that this Ozempic box is blue. So that's different than the original box that I would usually get and it would be red. Why am I saying this? I don't know. I'm just pointing it out that this one's blue and the other ones that I've been used to are red. So guys, it's much later. My hair's a mess, but I just took my one milligram Ozempic shot. Right now it's currently almost 8.40 p.m. I'm a little late, very late, actually, taking my shot today, but what are you gonna do? There is definitely a high chance of me having some issues <laughs> later tonight. And if that occurs, I will update you and you will see me then, okay? But right now, you know, five minutes after me giving my first milligram of Ozempic, feeling Gucci, okay? Feeling pretty good. Hey baddies, bays and days. <laughs> So guys, it's the next morning. I had great sleep. <laughs> what? I didn't have any problems overnight. 
thank God, usually whenever I'm about to fall asleep, that's when I feel, you know, symptoms and stuff like that. But no symptoms yet. I feel normal as if I took my regular half a milligram of Ozempic, which is phenomenal. Um, but also maybe at this point, maybe, maybe, maybe my body is just used to Ozempic being in its system and it's like, ah, what's a little more, you know? It's kind of, maybe that's what my body's, nah. You guys know I'm not a doctor, right? You guys know this is just my personal experience, right? I'm not giving you any medical advice, right? You know that, right? I'm not. Just a small town girl. Hi friends. It is my day three, which is actually my second full day of being on the one milligram of Ozempic. Um, last night was great. I did not have problems just like the first night. Um, I woke up today and I was 178.4 pounds. And that is the lowest weight that I have been this year. That's great. If some of you don't know, I started my weight loss journey at 200 pounds and now I'm 178 pounds. Go us, we're doing this, we're out here. This is me, I still have this little pouch right here, my little kangaroo pouch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Feeling good, although Right now, before I even filmed this clip, I got this weird sensation of feeling nauseous. I don't know <laughs> if that's the precursor for the rest of this week, but I just got a microsecond of feeling nauseous. And that's concerning. My kryptonite, that is my weakness, that is my Achilles heel. I will do anything to not feel nauseous. It's just not a good, it's not a good time, okay? I don't know anybody who's like, yeah, that feeling you get before you throw up, stellar dude. I've never met anybody who's ever said that or thought that. And if they did, I would be concerned. And I would suggest for everybody to run away in the opposite direction of that person, okay? That's where we are. I definitely will update you if I feel any sort of horrible okay <laughs> but right now i'm doing okay that millisecond of feeling nauseous went away pray for me pray for me guys we got this workout done you guys it is after my shower and after my workout and i'm starting to feel a little lightheaded for some reason so i'm having this greek yogurt which is 15 grams of protein also with some granola in it protein granola so that's an added like 13 grams of protein remember to eat while you're on this medication because you will feel lightheaded and you will might want to throw up hey girl boss um my face feels super puffy right now update this is still wednesday and i took my first ozempic shot monday i'm not feeling super great right now uh but i also think that i'm not feeling super great because this past weekend, I wasn't feeling 100%. You know, my mom is like feeling under the weather, so I've been taking care of her, so you know how that goes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not feeling great. I'm not feeling like a perfectly packaged applesauce that is chilled and served at a senior citizen's home. I am kind of feeling like a Doritos bag that was slightly crushed. Uh, that's how I feel which isn't horrible i just feel slightly bent so like i was saying i was feeling under the weather the weekend before i took my first one milligram of ozempic so i don't think that the ozempic is what's making me feel under the weather i just think that you know it's me taking care of my mom and and you know me feeling under the weather myself so friends let me explain right now i tried to eat spaghetti but it didn't work I felt grossed out. I just felt as if, if I were to throw that up later, mm, it wouldn't be a fun time. So I had like two spoonfuls and I thought, yeah, this would be horrible to yak up. I'm not feeling too good. I think I'm going to try and like sleep it off. I hope I don't throw up. It is 
is Thursday, so it's like the fourth day of me being on one milligram of Ozempic. A lot has changed since you last saw me, okay? I took a COVID test earlier, and it came out positive. Stellar, dude. We're loving life right now. The good thing is, I don't have pain. I did have a slight fever this morning, but no sore throat. Um, just like the slight fever, but I'm okay. I have been in my room this entire time, having ice cream and fruit. But I did weigh myself earlier and I weighed 177.4 pounds. That is my newest, lowest weight. Am I that weight? Because I have you know what I'm saying? Or is it because of the Ozempic? These are the questions. We may never know. No nausea, no heartburn. That's my update for today. Hey, girl boss. Today is Friday. And um, as some of you know, I have COVID. So I'm not you know, in candy land right now. <laughs> this morning I woke up and I weighed 176 pounds. And I started this week weighing 181 pounds. And that's a five pound difference, which is way too fast. I didn't expect me to drop five pounds this week, but you know, it could be due to me being sick that I lost about five pounds. I've been living in my room 24 seven. I have not left my room in about three days. So I'm starting to hallucinate. This week hasn't been the best for me. I hate being sick. I hate seeing family sick. I'm gonna get through this. I'm probably not gonna be able to upload two videos this weekend just because this is the only video that I got to film. Um, I couldn't film a vlog because I was just in my room. And as you guys can see, my room is pretty dark. I need to get a ring light so that the lighting could be better. It just sucks when you feel sick because you feel like you can't do anything. But thankfully I have my family, you know, my mom that's looking after me. I'm definitely going to have to do this um, video again just because I am sick. So that kind of throws off my Ozempic results because you can't, I can't give you accurate results if I'm also sick, you know? And you know, whenever you're sick, you, you also lose some weight because you know, you're not doing your best, but yeah. So I'm gonna have to film this video again Hopefully I'll get this video out to you guys. It just sucks. It just sucks because I view YouTube as like my passion and my job and I just feel bad when I can't post. I just love making YouTube videos and I've been posting consistently since October of 2021 and this is going to be my first time missing a day and it doesn't feel great. If you're watching this video this weekend, thank you so much. Um, hopefully I'll be fully recovered and healthy by next weekend, but uh, I really appreciate you guys being here and for watching my journey. It, it means the world to me and I just appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for participating in this week's community post. I do post new videos every Saturday and Sunday. Don't forget to check out my social medias if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.